welcome to the lighter side of the dark side. It's your weekly freak show here on Renegade Radio and also all the podcast catchers, YouTube, and especially I want to thank all the people that uh, checked us out on Apple Podcasts this week. And if you like what you heard, please rate, review, subscribe, whether it's uh, Apple, Google, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Spotify. It's the Dark Mark Show. I'm Dark Mark, the goth comedian. My co-host, Hannah, everybody's favorite vegan heavy metal DJ, unfortunately could not be here tonight. Get, uh, she had a little medical issue and she can't drive, but uh, get well soon. We'll see her next week. Got a couple hunky actors coming on next week, but right now I've got uh, two people that are much better looking than I am, which is great. Uh, we've got, uh, <laughs> she's been on before. And she had a different name when she was on before. That's right. And now she has been twice. You've been on. Oh, you've been on. Yeah, you've been on. Actually, you popped in once, and then we talked to you twice. But it's been a long time. And the third is the charm. The third is the charm. That's uh, the vida sal. Sal. The sal. sal de la vida. The sal de la vida. Mm -hmm. She always changes her name, and we'll get all to that. She's uh, she's the founder of Jill Love Revolution, and she's got all sorts of stuff to talk about. And uh, I'm glad we also have. You know, I, last week I went to the uh, the ice house, and uh, I hadn't seen this guy in probably five years yeah. uh, when I left uh, town. And he's still doing it, and he's still doing it well. I, I walked right in the middle of your set, and you had the crowd just dying laughing, <laughs> as usual. Uh, yes, he is a comedian, and he's very funny. It's Willis Turner. Oh, thank you. Thanks Thanks oh, you no, I didn't even say you've been on Comic View. You've been on, uh, you've been on Comedy Central. You've worked with everybody from Cat Williams to... Yeah. To uh, Sherry Shepard, Lonely Love, all all the big names, uh, uh, really big names. Uh, yeah, even uh, George Wallace. George Wallace, it, it doesn't get bigger than that. Yeah, he's a big, he's a big dude. <laughs> yeah, he's big. He's, he's a big dude. He, he's like six five, six. No, I remember, I remember when I because you see him on TV, you're like, uh, he doesn't look that big. I remember when I, I was at the Improv and I saw, I was right next to him, like that yeah. dude's big. <laughs> he's big. He's lost a lot of weight, but man, yeah. he was he was big. Like even he's older than me, but he's feels like he just could still crush me. Like, yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, you stand next to a person that feels like, like, my dad feels like he can still, my dad is bigger than I am. Yeah. And he feels like he can still crush me. Well, we almost got your booster seat, so right. a lot, well, of, a lot yeah. of people are bigger than you. But, <laughs> but George Wall, you ever, you ever meet a professional athlete, uh, Davida, Sal Davida? Mm, not the, no. They're usually bigger than you think. Yeah. Well, I actually love, uh, I love, taller men because they actually look down and make me feel so tiny and small and cute yeah so but you're like but you're you're very you're very tall so it's hard to hard to find well but six five i mean okay six well, five is a giant but well, 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 like five eleven and a half you're five eleven yeah yeah and yeah, no, three quarters yeah. and three quarters you could don't miss the three quarters because yeah. you're know. almost well, six well, feet it depends <laughs> on the day so. yeah we'll hook to meet up with george wallace although, right. uh, <laughs> we'll see how that works anyway so uh, before we go, we're going to do the sponsors really, really quick. Because <coughs> we have, remember we had two sponsors? I don't remember. You don't that remember. One. You don't I'm sorry. Yeah. Anything that has to do with corporate, corporate stuff, you don't know. Do, <laughs> well, we got to pay our bills. Uh, <laughs> we had, we used to have two sponsors. Now we have four sponsors. We have Spy Associates is one of our sponsors. Wow. <clears throat> now, if you think the government's spying on you or you want to spy on somebody else, this is the place to go, spyassociates.com. They have hidden cameras, GPS tracking, bug detectors, audio surveillance. Wow. You, know, you, could, you, could, you could have a field day. you got to go on their website. There's so much cool. It's like James Bond stuff. They've got like uh, uh, cameras that fit in smoke detectors so you can always wow. see what's going on in your house because <clears throat> I'm sure you, you both have stalkers. Or if you want to spy on somebody. To. I'll bet you did. Remember? I'll bet you. Mm. I'm waiting to get stalkers. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly who you're, who I you're think he minds. I'm trying to think who you're referring to, but it uh, could be anybody. Well, never mind. Never but mind. you know, I love bug these detectors. buttons with cameras that you can just go anywhere and look in. Yeah, that, you go to spy and even eye lens, eye contact lens. Yeah. Then they can record everything. That's amazing. I don't know if Spy Associates has that. Have you seen that? You mm -hmm. look like a mm, with a poker face. That looks. Yeah, that so they have these James contacts. I know, but it's it's here, it's here. So wherever you're watching <laughs> or listening to the show, uh, check out the code in the description. You get twenty percent off any order over two ninety nine at Spy Associates. Also, Hustler Hollywood. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, 
Ooh. we all love Hustler. Yes. That family. I love, I, well, we're going to talk about Hustler and you. <laughs> Hustler Hollywood sponsoring us now. I, wow. I love the Hustler Hollywood store in Hollywood. I love the Hustler store in Vegas. Now, you don't have to go to L.A. or Vegas because we have a worldwide audience. Go to HustlerHollywood.com and get whatever lingerie, uh, vibrators. What's your favorite vibrator, uh, Davida? Um, do you know, I'm vegan, organic, so I use cucumbers and I use like organic stuff from oh, okay. Mother Nature. So I don't really spend money on Hustler. They owe me money, so well, I, I, well, I want to give them more. Well, well anyway, but <laughs> if you want something that vibrates, twenty percent off. But they also have great lingerie. They have great gifts. They have, uh, you know, you can get uh, you can get your uh, your uh, pictures. Uh, I'm not sure, but I know that they have uh, sex toys. They have novelties. They have great great clothes. They have uh, you know boner pills. They got everything. <laughs> you go to hustlerhollywood.com. We're gonna have a twenty percent coupon in the description of the show. Also, Audible. We love uh, audiobooks. <gasps> Oh my God! You have the best sponsors. I have the best sponsors. You are, you upgraded. We it's always last time. That's we, we always had we always had Audible, but Audible. Wow. <laughs> we go. We, we there's books on comedy. There's books on activism. There's books on art. There's books on Spain. There's books everywhere. Especially about the mind. I'm obsessed. I'm oh, the hypnosis. Audio books about mind. Joe Dispenza. How to right. train your mind and how to Ooh. reprogram your mind. Oh, it's I, I do that. That's speaking. You of. do that too. Yeah. Just go to, uh, go to audibletrial.com forward slash DMS. You get any book you want. And you can get a, a wow. comedy album. Uh, you can get a book on comedy. What, what are you, what are you uh, uh, listening to now, Willis? The Road Not Taken. There you go. It's a great book. Ooh. But you get whatever you What's want. Oh. One, one book, two Audible Originals. <gasps> and the Audible Originals you can get, they have a Alien 3. William Gibson wrote an alternate script. They got Lance Henriksen, Michael Bean, really? and the cast acted out. Kate McKinnon has a, a fairy tale that she did with her and her sister. I love Kate McKinnon. That's got to be great. John Lithgow does a one one man play. They got all sorts. Bob Newhart interviews comics. They've got all sorts of stuff. Just go to audibletrial.com forward slash DMS. Free, free book, free to Audible Originals, and a free 30 day trial. You can cancel the next day. But I bet you don't because you get weak discounts. I just want to say when you are stuck in traffic in LA, in Chicago, New York, just just play one of these um, audiobooks. Absolutely, it's an amazing experience. It's like it doesn't matter where you are, stuck in traffic, you know. But you're just getting all this knowledge and yeah. wisdom. And, Always you know, be it's learning. Just fascinating. Always be learning. Exactly. Always be learning. Exactly. <laughs> Instead of complaining, you I know, don't like, complain. Good. Well, out loud. <laughs> we'll see what happens after the show. Right. And then, of course, Doobie's Home Cooking, everybody's favorite vegan restaurant, 1253 Vine Street, Yay. corner of Fountain of Vine. I took you there. We had a great time. I, you, you like you like pulled pork sandwiches. You like Big Macs. You mm. like burritos. You got like flautas. Yeah. 1253 Vine Street in Hollywood or Toronto, Canada, all vegan, all delicious. Really? Yeah. Shrimp po' boys, vegan. Unbelievable. I don't eat, well, I don't eat pork, but. Yeah, it's not real pork. It's, right. it's, yeah, it's like eating Vegan. human. Yeah, we had somebody. You know, we had um, yeah, Mia, yeah. Mia Mars last week. She's like, I don't eat pork. I, I keep throwing pork out, but I was like, I don't eat pork. Well, it's, it's vegan, so right. it's, it tastes it's like it's not real it's not, pork. It's not pork. It's not pork. But anyway, the best vegan food you ever it's had. Beyond pork. Doobie's pork. home. It's be, well, they actually have Beyond pork now, but that's another another uh, discussion for another time. So that's all the sponsors are out of the way. Davida Sal throws the best parties. Davida Sal. I try. Yes. The Vita Sal. People show up, you know, for a reason. So. Well, here's the thing: what happened with the Vita Sal? Now, the don't Vita... tell. Don't tell about the last party when I fell asleep. Don't no, no, well, no, no. You you just told it, but that's not <laughs> what I was gonna say. The Vita Sal, I went to her farewell party hmm. about four months ago. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, my love, the Vita Sal, formerly Jill Love. We'll get to that in a second. Is leaving. She's going back to Spain. I'm never ever going to see her again. That's exactly what I said for you to come, you and others. So I just wanted to, you know, like when people fake fake their death. Oh, so to you're make faking sure who so loves yeah. them <laughs> and who's going to show up to the memorial to the. So this was a fake farewell fake and stuff, you know. So I wanted to make sure who are my friends. Yes. So you know. Am I your friend? Of course, you always show up. Yes, I do. I always show up. So. Uh, so I went. I went. I was like, I'm never going to see the Vita Sal again. I was shedding a few tears. I got over it. 
Just you crack some jokes about me too. You always do that. Well, you always insist I do comedy, but uh, <laughs> so I, I, I was I was I was crying. I was depressed. I was I, in a fetal position for weeks. <laughs> Finally got out of it. Then I get a text on my phone. I'm having another party. She's back. <laughs> Now, what happened? Now, you moved back. Now, you're from Spain. Well, actually, I was moving out of my Hollywood apartment. Yes. So that, that part is true. Yeah. Well, and then I was well, going well, to well, Spain well, just for a month. A great apartment. I told you I was planning to come back. So. You never said that. You never well, told me. Um, I, you didn't I, waited, want me. I waited to give that piece of information after you showed up at my party. So. And yeah. you never did. But I figured that. I, th I thought you read my Facebook every day. I don't. I should. Same. Now, which one? Because there's like ten of them. How many? You have that many Facebook. <laughs> you, you, you got your real name. Well, your, 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 your you know, because I get name. blocked, uh -huh. so I, get, I have to Ooh. create new profiles, Ooh. new names, Why? and stuff what like that. What are you that. doing to get blocked? Because I'm very controversial. Yes, uh, you know, Jill Love is an artist. I have artivist. strong opinions, <laughs> okay. so I can piss people off, especially Facebook. You know. Uh. Well, let, let me let me tell Willis what you really do. <laughs> okay. She is an artist. Okay. She does. Uh, performance art that is, uh, for instance, she went on Donald Trump's star, put a gold toilet on, and sat with her panties down like she was taking a shit on his star. Oh. Well, it was actually a golden shower. It was a golden shower. I'm sorry. It was this. Yeah. Well, Donald probably yeah. would rather. That's what he likes. To protest, uh, to protest the oil companies, yeah. she uh, walked the streets of Spain nude with oil over all over her body. You did that? That was actually the last decade, you know, so now it's Well, the, yeah, well, you're in a new decade, but I mean, yeah, that, that's, so how, that's how you I got your name. Uh, what was the one where you were, you were uh, covered in marijuana plants? And that was the agree? most fun. That was actually two years before it okay. got legal in California. So right. So we have to, we, we, have to, your time. we have to be to the fact. Yeah, right. so I was actually naked, covered with cannabis leaves mm -hmm. all over, you know, passing out joints and rolls and I have like um, handcuffs that they were broken so I was actually free I was celebrating like I just was, that in was Spain? out was that of jail you know where was this at? San Francisco oh San Francisco ah, okay. okay okay. yeah so they're cool there yeah you can get away with that shit in San Francisco yeah here I don't know <laughs> I don't know I mean she's so beautiful she walks around naked I don't think people are gonna whatever's on there right, nobody's, nobody's gonna yeah, complain I mean, I'm, I've been a wall so Yes, you were. A, uh, I forgot about the wall. You were a wall. Mm -hmm. Tell mm -hmm. tell them about the wall. So that was actually Hustler magazine. They wanted to do a special on me, and yes. they told me to do the golden toilet mm -hmm. again. So I never repeat anything I do. It's one of a kind. Right. So once it's done, it's March over. Now. I go to the next thing. Mm -hmm. So they gave me a week to put together like an what activism performance mm -hmm. event, and I always wanted to be the wall. So I raised the money, and mostly my Mexican friends donated money for me to build a wall. <laughs> so so I went to Home <laughs> Depot. I went to Home Depot. I got all these pieces. You Cleve, know, Cleve, Hall, like uh, Cleve Hall, who's Monster Cleve Man, Hall, helped you with the makeup. Basically, the makeup. it's a big wall. I'm going to try to uh, get a picture so we'll yeah. see. Yeah. So no, a big, big wall, wall, and you were coming like, out of the wall I naked. I was like Han Solo uh -huh. in Star Trek coming like trapped in the wall, right. like kind of. So basically, Trump should hire you to get Mexicans to pay for the wall. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I funded it. I funded it faster than him. So right, like you got, and, and you actually did say, I'll, "I'll get Mexico to pay for it," and Mexicans gave you money. I speak Spanish, so that helps. Well, that does help. He doesn't. Speak. Well, plus you came out of the wall naked. I think that that's. That uh, also helps. I think even even Donald Trump would prove on that. I wish I could sure. speak Spanish. Oh, I should take Spanish classes. How long have you been in oh. L.A.? I've been in L.A. since... I've lived in California since high school. So I've been here... Okay. So I've been here like... Yeah, yeah, five years. 20, 30. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but Where are you coming from? Texas. 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 Where in Texas? Dallas. Dallas. Yeah. Um, have you ever been there? Like the show. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Dallas. Yes. but I'd not. It's related to JR. <laughs> with nowhere near the money <laughs> of Dallas. I like yeah. Dallas. I went to Dallas a couple years ago for a golf festival. Okay. So there were a lot of Texas goths. It was, it was, it was a lot of fun. I, was, I, I grew up in a, 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 there's an area of Dallas called Oak Cliff. 
which I'm from. Mm-hmm. And Oak Cliff is a, uh, I'm turning this way. So Oak Cliff is actually, uh, um, I didn't realize it was a bad area until I left. <laughs> and I, was, I came back and I was like, oh, this is, this is dangerous. Because like, I grew up and that was what I knew. That was the only reference that was, yeah, you had. So. That was the only reference I had. And so yeah. uh, I moved from there to uh, Orange County, like Yorba Linda to Ascentia area of Orange County, which is very well to do. Mm-hmm. And I basically felt like a chocolate chip in a bowl of milk. Uh, <laughs> 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 Whoa, okay. Right? Yeah. I'd I you get it now. Yeah, I'd, I'd build that you wall. You get the idea now. I would help with it. that wall, too. It's, it's, <laughs> hard, it's hard to describe. I, I don't know if the camera's going to catch this, but it is like the Han Solo in the, in the, uh, encased yeah. in the... Uh, and the stuff you're just like you're coming out of the wall. Yeah, and then people first. were like, uh. you know, just participating and graffiti and just like you the, know, uh, people just put writing on the wall. Yeah, so so that was part of the project, is so everybody can write on the wall. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, what was it? Uh, have you watched uh, uh, Mondo, Mandalorian? I haven't. Mondo. No, I don't have Disney Plus. It's like, psh, so you just all the oh, see do all that? the. Mm-hmm. People like frozen, so yeah. Like um, maybe? Han, yeah, like Han Solo, like that, like mm-hmm. the Han Solo. There's a bunch of stuff like that. So like meme, sorry, yeah. I said meme, meme. Meme, that's okay. That's but right. in Spanish, Actually, it's mimic. Uh, yeah, we, no, we, <laughs> don't, we don't, know well, Spanish, we, we live in you LA. Know Spanish now. <laughs> Is it? See, si, mimic. Mimi? Mimico. 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 Okay, I was be able to say mimico. You you know what beautiful people help you learn Spanish fast. Oh yeah, no no that's <laughs> it sounds Korean the way you say it mimiko. 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 Oh, I mean uh, Japanese. Japanese yeah. too. Mimiko. 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 But in Korea towns. I I, I yeah. don't want I don't want to disturb this moment, but uh, yeah. you guys are like gazing into each other's eyes and talking the languages of love. But well, <laughs> now what? You you, know, you you were here in LA since high school. When did mm-hmm. you? Who inspired you to do comedy? Oh. Forgive my cliche question, but I, I, I'm going somewhere with this. Um, I wanted to be a comic when I was six years old. I knew I wanted to be a six years old. My really? M- my dad was listening to Red Fox. Oh, at six years old, you're listening yeah. to Red Fox. Well, I wasn't. I was around the corner, and my yeah. dad was listening to it. He was listening to... Uh, you Gotta Watch I, Your Ass? Yes. <laughs> yes. That was the album I was. Li- he was listening to. Yes. Uh, and then I started listening to all his... I started sneaking in, listening to all of his comedy yeah. albums of Richard Pryor, uh, I loved Richard Pryor. Uh, These are the dirtiest comics ever, uh, Davida, just so you know. As a he kid. He recently passed, right? Richard, Richard Pryor? Richard no, about, it's that been was about two, two, years? two or three two years, three years ago. Who, yeah. oh, Richard recently Pryor? Yeah. yeah. No, it was about 10 years ago. Has it been? No. It's been a while. Yeah, no, it's, it's, been a, really? it's been a while. Yeah, it's been like, it was like 2006, 2007, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So you're right. You're Unfortunately, right. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, it was, uh, I mean, but his, his shadow has never left the comedy no. scene because he's, he's, he's the best. Maybe I was thinking about Gene Wilder. He's yeah, no, that, yeah, Gene Wilder was a couple years ago. Yeah. yeah, he Richard cast a large shadow, and every comic. Uh, I, it's funny. I used to when I first started doing stand up, I was comparing myself to like Richard Pryor, um, like you always do that. Yeah, Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy. Like I was comparing. I wasn't comparing myself to my peers. Like how am I doing on their level? Right. I'm like, how am I doing on a Richard Pryor level? <laughs> like, I mean, I was like. I should not have been comparing myself. No, I think I, I, I think well, that's actually helping. Setting yourself yeah. Really I was yeah, I was setting it so high, high that I set the bar so high that I thought I was bad. And people were like, No, you're really good. I'm like, No, I'm not good mm. enough. Like I literally set that bar really high. What's your sign? Gemini. Gemini. Yeah. So you're very perfectionist. I have a couple of Geminis. So a little bit. Is that what Gemini yeah. is? I thought it was split personalities. No, I think um, depending on your rising sign, mm-hmm. I, I have Virgo, it. so I'm really perfectionist. Are you a Gem- Gemini? No, I'm a Pisces. Oh. <laughs> but my rising, my rising is Virgo, so I'm really perfectionist. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm a Gemini. I don't know what my sun is or rising. <laughs> Wait, oh my or no, well, we had a psychic reading here last week, so I'm, I'm all into this, all into this vibe. <laughs> now you're a Pisces. I've dated a lot of Pisces. Now why? What, mm-hmm. Now what does that mean? And you're unlike any Pisces I've ever met. It means you like it wet. What? (laughs) (laughs) 
who doesn't like a wet? Yeah, like, yeah. 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 Like, I'm, sure, I'm sure there's some guys. There's a fetish for everything. I'm sure some guys like I love it dry, right. but I just I'm not one of those guys. I like it <laughs> rubbing. I, I like it sandpaper rubbed against me. But an Aquarius guy yeah. likes it dry. Yeah. He's like I like it dry. So you're very like so you're very wet, wet is what you're saying, to me there. <laughs> Say what? You're very wet is what you're saying. Well, I'm a Pisces. So yeah. okay. You know, yes, I so. moisturize myself. Paul, you want to get a mop over here? Uh, yeah. the, <laughs> No, but uh, I gotta get this. I gotta get to this because okay, uh, Jill or, or Davida, excuse me. Previously, when you were on the show, you were known as Jill Love. Mm-hmm. That was your stage name, your artist name since two thousand six, two thousand seven, two thousand two, two thousand two. No, two thousand twelve. I'm sorry. Two thousand twelve. Like, so Will you guys mind if I crack open? Crack it open. Crack it open. Trust me, please. Uh, I'm sorry. It's I'm sorry. It's cold. Seven Eleven's are eight. Weird. But cold red wine, what, what are you going to do? But And you were chastising me because I got Aquafina so, uh, water because it's but Coca-Cola. It's, it's, it's actually tap water. It's all tap water. Filtered tap water. I mean, it's not. I mean, Fiji, New Zealand water. Oh, Fiji. You know, Iceland. It's uh, the kind of water. By the I way, like. Fiji is tap water, too. I did a taste <laughs> test with my girlfriend with Fiji water because he's like, Fiji water is the best. Mm-hmm. And she hated Arrowhead. I did a Blind taste test whether Arrowhead Fiji, she thought Arrowhead was the better was Fiji, and she thought Fiji was Arrowhead. So that's a bunch of bunk. But I'm sorry, I got you. I'm sorry, I got you corporate water. Thanks. But you were known as Jill Love, mm-hmm. and now as of last year, mm-hmm. Davida Sal. Matter of fact, you were when last time you were on the show, I was going to talk about the name change. You're like, I don't want to talk about it. Now you're ready to talk about it. Because Talk about it. Let's, tell, let's hear this. Yeah, I'm actually doing the steps to legally change my name. I'm actually having the citizen interview this week. To really? To get my citizenship. Of, uh, in America? Yeah. Nice. So. Do you, you want to be a citizen? Yeah, I want to be a citizen. Like, I love this country. I love Americans. Right. You know, there are a few things that rough on the edges and need a little love. So yeah. maybe that's why I'm here to save Jill you love. all. Right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but you know, my attorney said, "Yeah, you can legally change your name when you get the citizenship." Okay. So, so I you're thought, gonna oh, change I'm it to the Vida Sal. Yeah. Because it was never officially Jill Love. It was that was a stage name. I mean, I was born under Jordina. Jordina. Salavet. Yes. And you know, depending what I do, I change. Change. Right. So you're evolving. You evolved into Jill Love. Mm-hmm. And now you're evolving into Davida Sal. That's the Pisces in you. That's right. The fish that keeps it's evolving. Different, different oceans, yeah, different yeah, seas, yeah. Right. different yeah. currents. Boop, 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 yeah. And <laughs> but the, but the the weird thing is that even though now you're gonna be Davida Sal, you just uh, completed a, uh, 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 a GoFundMe mm-hmm. for your new book. Which will be Jill Love. And the last. Okay. Second this is going to be the last Jill Love book. Yeah. Because I'm and actually retiring from doing what I do. Like, I wouldn't go naked on Hollywood wa- Walk of Fame anymore. Like, I wouldn't do that. You don't mind if I do? Well, like, I want to. No. I created, like, school, you know. So A school? people are following my lead, my mm-hmm. steps. Oh, and yeah. Talk like, about that. Yeah. Yeah, somebody in Spain ripped you off. Well,. That's not how I say it. Because That's how I, I say inspire, it. I want to inspire other people to do what I do. So, you know. More people I should have be amazing, naked. But it's not just naked. <laughs> you know, like. Um, no, no. This so during, you know, we have the Goya. Goya Awards was mm-hmm. it's like the Oscars in right. Spain. Okay. So we call it Goya. Goya. So we had them on Sunday. Oh. You know. Mm-hmm. In Spain, in Madrid. So I had somebody, well, I had many people sending me um, photos of, um, you know, of the award ceremony, and there was an activist. She she was naked, covered with um, stickers, just like me. Right. I'm, I'm showing the and everybody the knew it was inspired on my activism performance. So no. it was all over the net, you know. So I thought, oh, how cool, you know, like somebody doing, recreating what I do. That's not the text you sent me. Because nobody has done it before. Right. So everybody knows it's me. So it has my brand. Right, you right. You know? So for an artist, it's great. Like right. It's, it's a form of... Flattery. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I don't get upset, 
you know, I mean, just my idea is as a gift to humanity. So I'm upset. I'm You're upset. They they can come up with their own stuff. Getting naked with stickers, that's your thing. I'm, I don't think I could be that an activist then because I don't want to walk down the street naked. Like, I don't think I have the body to be yeah, seen. Yeah, well, but you get naked in front of your audience when you do your coming. It's, it's, I, I can get naked like that. I don't you mind. You get vulnerable. You yeah. get, like, real. You get yeah. in the present moment. I, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I, I, talk about, I talk about how I was raised. I talk about... Uh, I haven't done it in a while though, but like getting your heart broke, you ever, you know, I talk about that. Um, mm -hmm. I talk about what I, you know, places I've been and talk about uh, raising my daughter. My that's driving me crazy. Yeah, uh, I have a thirteen-year-old, and she's. Oh yeah, that that's. Uh, <laughs> it's it's crazy it, because this, you this know, is when it gets tough. Yeah, because. I don't know if it's the hormones. I don't know what it is that's making her do the things that she does. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. she's, like, well, I'm like. What's she doing? What's the last thing that. Uh, well, I'm like, hey, call me because she lives with her mom. So right. I'm like, you know, we made a deal. And the deal was she was supposed to call me every night. It's nice. To say face FaceTime to say goodnight. Yeah. Right? Uh, simple. Yeah. I was like, I don't want a long conversation. You don't have to have a long conversation. Just yeah. call dad up. Hi, say, dad. How you hey, doing? Yeah. Hey, I love you. Good night. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Right. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Every As soon as she agreed, like she wanted nails. She wanted acrylic nails. Oh. And, and she's 13. I'm like, <laughs> I go, okay, this is the deal. And um, I go, well, so she didn't do it. So right. I took the nails off. And oh. <laughs> I know that's not uh, yeah. that's but not a cool dad move, right? But I was like, no, it is actually. It, it was. No, it, it I is, but I, yeah, I, I mean, in her perspective, that. it's not. No, it, from her because I told her you made the deal. I was like, now mm -hmm. you can wait till next year yeah. and be okay to get your like. You'll be older. You'll be fourteen. Sure. Da, 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 da. She's still young. She's still too, She's young, too young. But I was like. Acrylics are going to ruin your nails. Yeah. And so she was like, no, it'll be fine. I go, okay. And you know, it's like shaving. Once you start, right. you have to keep doing it. Yes. So, you know, she's really young. Yeah. Even though that's when you start having your period right. and you start becoming a woman. Right. So I really support you to be um, strong, right. and powerful dad. And that really it cares about her daughter because. Yes. And I care about like all the things that she does. So she's like. No, you're just being mean to me, and I was like, "Yeah, I can see your point, but still, <laughs> we're gonna do this." Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I go, "You, this is what you agreed to, and when you agreed to it, then I said yes, and yeah. you didn't keep your word." You're negotiating. Exactly. Like my parents yeah. never negotiated. Right. It's like this is what mm -hmm. you do. That's it. Right. Yeah. And you know, know people don't respect the word. They don't really yeah. like value. Right. The word. Right. Like they say one thing and they mm. just change their mind right. the uh, day after, yeah. you know, so you have to. It's kids like these days. And that's, and that's what I was yeah. talking about. Yeah. They're Lizzo and yeah. they're, you know, they're right. <laughs> and really, <laughs> they're with their, really with their, with their TikTok and their, right. and their and Twitch the, and, their and their this Instagram. <laughs> and she has Instagram and I'm like, I really rather you did. It's private. Yeah. But, you know, like her friends in school can get it a part of um, it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's probably an Instagram that you're not seeing. Right. And well, that's the thing is, I was like, look, she, um, she was like, well, I have this other, and I was like, no, we don't, we don't need two accounts. I was like, you're one person, you, yeah. you're not, and you're not a celebrity. Like, I could see if you were. Yeah. You're not G Love, yeah. uh, the video you're, you're star not, with well, ten you, yes. right. Facebook right. profiles. Yeah. <laughs> Willis <laughs> Turner's daughter only goes so far. Right, and, but so uh, it, it's it's hard that she and I always I used to tell people I, I used to I made a joke about it. I was like, well, you know. Superman does. When I was, she was younger, I was Superman. Yeah, you know, fly high, I touch the sun. Yeah. Now she's thirteen. I don't fly as high. The S isn't as straight. The blue isn't that blue anymore. You know, I used to walk in. Da -da -da -da. Now I walk in. <laughs> <laughs> That's the coronavirus. Right. <laughs> <The> coronavirus. <laughs> now let me ask you a question. Now, uh, what do, what do she what does she and her friends think about your your comedy on YouTube? Well, you know, that's easily accessible. Right. Well, you know what's so funny? Her friend, she has a friend uh, that at her school 
that her dad, the dad is a doctor and her mother's mm-hmm. a lawyer. And the friend goes, wow, you're so lucky. Her dad's a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. I was like, no. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's great that I'm a comedian. Like, I love doing stand-up. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. But if I could have taken the track of being a doctor and a, an economist or... Yeah. That would have been... I, I probably would have taken that. But it was just me as a comic, like, the drive I have for comedy mm-hmm. is unbelievable. Like, I love doing stand-up. Like it's I was saying, I've, I've put my standards so high. It's a passion, yeah. In that I didn't even... I was comparing... I really was comparing myself to greatness compared to my peer like I wouldn't go on the road like I was I should have been on the road like my third or fourth year into doing stand up sure but I didn't think I was good enough oh wow and I uh, I waited another 3 or 4 more years and I was featuring for guys and they were like why are you like I'd be on the, doing one nighters oh yeah and they were like why are you the feature like you should be the headliner yeah, like yeah, this I've, guy I've been there, yeah this guy can't even and I was like because I just started going on the road. Like, yeah. that was my thing. Like, I wouldn't, mm-hmm. I really. What was the show where you met your standard? The first show you're like, okay, um, I, I met it. Not necessarily that I met your prior, but I'm like, you know what? That was, uh, that was I'm getting to be myself. I'm getting, I would say 12 years in. Yeah. I, w- I was, I was finally, at, tw- at 12 years, I was finally okay with saying, okay, I'm funny. And so I'm, was there a show you're, that you're like, okay, there's a breakthrough, I, I, I got it? Um, not really. Right. It, I've, I can't remember one specific show, but I remember there was a time when I go, I, I take that back. There was a show. It was a show uh, I was doing, and the act just wasn't working. You know, you have those times. Sure, yeah, yeah. Just the material is not. Mm-hmm. So I dropped the material, and I go, okay, I'm just going to talk. And I started talking, and the crowd starts falling out. They're rolling in the street. and I mean, rolling out. And they're just like, oh, my God. Can you, you have to stop. It was people begging me to stop. Yeah, yeah. And I go, if the act doesn't work, I'm still funny. Sure. And that's when I realized, okay, I'm funny. Well, and that's the thing. A lot of people ask me, because everybody's doing comedy now. Right. Like, my dry cleaner does comedy. Everybody does right. comedy now. Everybody asks me, like, should I, should I do comedy? Including you. We can get to that. Mm-hmm. Uh should I do comedy? And I always ask, are you funny? Right. And you'd be surprised how many people are like, I don't know. I think so. Right. They think they can they think they take a class and learn it. But you know, everybody wants mm, are a model, photographers, right. because they have an iPhone. 10, no, no, no. Everybody, no, everybody wants to be a comedian now. I know, but everybody thinks they can be anything. You, but did, you, have to be you like dabbled this. into it last year. Yeah, and you know, I, th- I think I'm funny, especially when when I'm at home and with my best friends, you know, and oh, I sure. loosen up yeah. and a little high, right. you know. But well, I was surprised, and, so and I, I said this on stage, too, and I'm going to say it here, but I was surprised when you told me I'm going to try to do comedy because I took you to, like, three comedy shows, and you hated every single <laughs> comedian, except for Marshall Warfield. Right. She's like, oh, Marshall's going to hate. The rest of them was like, they're not funny. They're well, not funny. This I'm is the thing about, I always say, this is when I always ask people. I go, okay, you want to be a comic. If you had to pay to be like support, like do another job for the next ten years, but still do stand up, would you still do stand up? Yeah. Do you want to do stand up? Yeah, because I like to share my daily stories, mm-hmm. you know, and just make people but have a good time. But you, you you studied at the uh, Upright Citizens Brigade, you at the Brownlings, at the Brownlings as well. Mm-hmm. So, which is more improv than stand up, but then. You would, it's every time when there's a party, that's another reason why she has a great party. She always insists on uh, doing stand-up and me doing stand-up. Right. I actually went to your um, show at the CIA. Yes. And that was so funny because... Yeah. CIA? Like CIA, the CIA, The California yeah. Institute of Abnormal Arts. Oh. It's a place in, uh, in, in uh, North Hollywood. They have uh, shrunken heads on display, a dead clown. Like wow. also It's a creepy place. Perfect for me. It looks like a circus side show. <laughs> and, it's great. And you know I why I found it funny? What? Because they were not even trying. I mean, they were just on the stage. Even they, they were quiet and it just, well, the, the it thing was about just funny the way they are and the way they 
Well, the thing is, a lot of people, uh, well, uh, the reason a lot of people are doing comedy, I theorize, is because the music industry is dead. Yes. So anybody would have performed a punk band or been a rapper or whatever, they're doing comedy now. But people also think it's easy. Yeah. And it's not. But when it's done right, when it's done correctly, it looks, it looks easy. It looks like, you're like, they're not even trying. Yeah. I saw you at the ISIS. I, I, everybody on that show had a good set. <laughs> yeah. And Shang just destroyed. Yeah. Uh, uh, Retha was great. But, and, and I was talking to Mia Mars last week. Mm-hmm. The Laugh Factory and the Ice House. Mm-hmm. Easy. Yeah. Those audiences, the way the rooms are set up. Perfect. If you can't, if you bomb at either place, get the fuck out. Right. Get out. You should not do, like. It, Comedy store, anything can happen. Improv, right. you never know. Right. Laugh Factory and, and Ice House. They're set up perfectly for stand Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and CIA is similar to that. It's, it's okay. a weird vibe. Like like, uh, like my favorite, what are your favorite, if you don't mind me, your favorite place to, cities to perform in? Um, I love, uh, I, honestly, I, I really liked, I really liked uh, Dallas, uh, okay. oddly enough. Portland, I just came back from Portland. Portland was great. Uh, you ever done Portland? Portland, no, Seattle. I haven't done. Por- I've done Seattle, but not Portland. Yeah, Seattle and Portland, and, and you know, maybe it's it's the, it's the weird kind of act I do. It really resonates there. Yeah. Uh, New York is is fun, but uh, it's work. Yeah, it's work. But when you when you get it, it's good. It's good. I like New York, um, Boston, and Dallas. I've never done a comedy in Boston. Chicago is great. Yeah, Chicago is great. Yeah. But I love New York. I, the, the reason I like New York perform during stand-up is like here there it always feels like the audience especially if you perform in hollywood yeah the audience is judging what who are you like are you like robin williams are you eddie murphy are right, you right. what dave Chappelle? are you this are you that or that in new york they're like look just be funny i don't care who you like i don't care who you mm-hmm. what you say just be funny you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. it has to be funny. If it's not that. funny, then they're like, mm, get off that stage. And they yeah. and they don't have a problem telling you to leave. Like, mm-hmm. here, the audiences are really nice. Yeah. You, I, I should say, in most parts. In like, I started off, when I started off, there were no bringer shows. Yeah, that, that's, what's, that's what's killing it. Yeah. Bringer shows are really starting to kill comedy because people who've never really gone to comedy club go to a bringer show, and then they go, comedy sucks. And I'm not coming back to another comedy club. Right, because they're all there to see their friends. Yeah. For a bringer show is when you have to bring a certain amount of people. To get on stage. To get on stage. So yeah. and this person brings 10 people, this yeah. person brings 10 people. And they're all there to see their friend. They ignore, they ignore everybody else for the most part. And then you're just like, you know. You know, I just want to say you guys are so necessary yes. these days. Comedy. Yeah. You know, because the whole world is on fire and wars and coronavirus and right. all this stuff. You're and so, fear you're and so death. worried so about this comedy coronavirus. So comedy just so, you know. I, like, I don't worry about a virus named after a beer, first off, but right. you're so <laughs> worried about the coronavirus. Oh, I'm obsessed about the coronavirus. Oh, I, I, was like, gonna, I was going to get to the research. You know, I'm like researching uh, more about, about coronas? <laughs> uh, no, I was. Is I it corona light virus? Or is it but don't, today, don't, what is coming from? But and so I'm like, I want to know. It's not just a virus coming from nowhere. But, it's but, the but this it's happens there. every year, so though. It's a bioweapon. I'm sure it is. Yeah. But it happens every year. I SARS, know, but this you had swine flu, you had pig flu. You this had one is even stronger. And it's they say that every time. They always it, it keeps growing. I mean, well, that's the thing. Do you need a mask? Is that what you need? Virus gets stronger because yeah. every th- every time it re- it it evolves, right? It, yeah, exactly. And so it it figures out, oh, this will kill me, so I want to stay alive. And this one has two weeks period of incubation, mm-hmm. so you cannot really detect the symptoms. At least, at least. So it's it's I don't know. It's well, tell us what FDA stands for. <laughs> Fraud and Death Administration. Say that again. Fraud, fraud and, and death. death and oh, fraud and administration. death. So it's, it's supposed to be food and drug administration, right. but it's yeah. fraud and yeah, drug I administration. Yeah, I just saw it on Facebook today. Yes, I saw that on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. they're fra- it's government is, yeah. yeah. It, 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 I always tell people, like, people go, it's too many regulations. I was like, 
You know why there's regulations? Yeah. It means someone went so far right or so far left that yeah. they go, we have to stop this. <laughs> like, right. But the Food and Drug Administration, they, they can be bought and sold. Like, if yeah, exactly. Like the organic market, mm-hmm. I only eat organic. But if if the product has even a 10% organic, it's, it's organic. organic. Yeah, but That's what about the 90% right. of, you know, it's like... Pesticides? It's a fraud. So it's all about money and, you know, so my point is Mm -hmm. we're not here for that long. So make us laugh. Crack a joke. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to, I was going to actually get into the, uh, the 5G thing. Oh, 5G. No. What's 5G? You you know, on the phone, it's, uh, phones are 4G and they're going to 5G. Yeah. 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 You've been railing about against that for a long time. That too. Tell tell us what's wrong with uh, Is 4G okay? Is wireless okay? Like. We are electrical beings, so right. we're constantly affected by electromagnetic wave frequency. So people having uh, anxiety attacks, depression, mm, all kinds of stuff that they don't know where it's coming from. So it's actually we you think have the cell phones like are cell causing phones, the Wi-Fi, routers, computer, Bluetooth, all this shit all day long. 24 hours a day on us. So it's affecting us. People are getting sick, depressed, mental ill. They're talking about 10G coming around the corner, too. You know, I hope I won't be here. It's going to be 5G to 10G. Dude, what, at what point does it stop? Like, I, did, did, did we just until think it Jill and it into yeah, our, stands no naked in Hollywood Boulevard? It never stops. No, uh, I'm, I'm actually not doing that. The Vita. I don't Vita. care what's going on anymore in the world. I just want to focus on myself for a while. Now I was going to ask you too. I want to save my soul. Now, I was going to ask you too. You can save your soul and still be naked. I know, but <laughs> uh, we can help you out with that. Anyway, I was going to ask you. Because the first time you were on, uh, our friend, our mutual friend, Amazon Eve, brought you on. Mm-hmm. And we met, uh, and you sat in on the show. And uh, my friend, Joy Villa, was on the show. And I don't know if you saw what happened at the Grammys last night. <sighs> you know, like, I love her. She's a sweetheart. But well, it's just too much. Too well, much but here's with the here's Trump the, to I was going to ask you her opinion on it. It's too much. Who, it's just, who, she doesn't who? Okay, uh, okay. I haven't um, watched it. I didn't my watch fr- it. My friend, yeah, Joy Villa, and... and uh, because I was going to ask, because she's doing an artivist sort of thing for what she believes in. That's right. Which I is not necessarily that, what I but, believe in. Uh, but politics divide people. So, I mean. She wears a Trump dress at the Grammys every year. And I'm sure we're going to have her on the show at, at some point. And actually, her friend Ricky Rebel uh, wore assless pants that said, impeach this on her cheeks. That's great. Do you think it's great, even though it's not necessarily... For you, uh, you know, I know you're not a big Trump fan, but uh, well, you know, like, I mean, if that's what she believes um, in. It's pro choice. I'm pro choice, right? So freedom of expression. I, I just and she's a little too much lately. And so she, I don't she wore a dress that. a couple of years ago that had a, a fetus on. It was a pro life dress. She was the wall too. She was the wall she, last year. She was year. actually the wall the same year I was the wall. Hold on a second. She wore pro choice. She pro life. Pro life. She's 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 she's. she's the, she's, I, she wears, I'm a she pro wears, choice. Yeah, she's, she's, she's pro-life. Pro <laughs> well, this she, is the thing. Everybody is pro-life. Like, I don't know anyone. Like, I'm pro-death. Like, right. who's like, I want death? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but she's, uh, but... Uh, Unless we're a Taliban. Yeah. <laughs> but gosh. Taliban? You think they're the only ones that are pro-death? No, one of them. Yes, okay. So, I don't even want to get into that. Right. No, my friend Joy, <laughs> who, uh, by the way, once again, I don't, I have friends... Across the political spectrum, right? I don't give a shit what your politics are. Right. I've known her for years, so she started wearing weird dresses at the Grammys. First, she wore a dress with a, it was an orange like uh, the orange mesh that's on the freeways, that got her a lot of attention. Then she wore something that looked very much like Alien. It was really good. And then she hit on it a few years ago, and she wore a dress that said Trump, 2016, uh, it's uh, or you know whenever he was elected, it said Trump, and her. Her album that she was giving away at shows mm-hmm. became a top twelve hit on the charts because all the Trump supporters. Support. And now, so now she wears, she then she wore a, a pro life fetus. Now the, the pro life thing, I will say, she did have a she did have a child and she uh, chose to keep her and the, the child was adopted. She does pre- believe in pro life, mm-hmm. and I respect that. 
but the, then then she wore a wall last year. Now she wore another crown dress, and she gets written up every year. Yeah. But you know, the Grammys is to celebrate our music. It's not to, you know, show down your political statements in that way. Would I you say that if if if, uh, if it was a Bernie dress or somebody or? Uh, a uh, anti FDA dress or an anti 5G dress or anti Coca Cola dress, anti Coca Cola dress. But you know that's actually that's affecting the whole society as a whole. You know, like activism. But right. this is just benefiting uh, Trump and Republicans. So it's dividing. Well, there's dividing a lot of division. People. That's what that's you what know? that's so what the problem I'm is to be this day. That's why the fucking wall is dividing people. It's so. not dividing just Mexico and U.S. is dividing the wildlife. It's dividing the world, you know, like mm -hmm. enough of fucking walls, you know. What about the Berlin Wall? You know, right. now another wall, the Palestinian Wall, all these fucking walls. It's just dividing the whole fucking world. Right. You know, the all these together. fucking animals, they have to go across. Like, what's going on? That's why you I have know? an open floor, floor mm -hmm. plan in my house. We don't take no care wall. of our homeless no. people, and we're going to fucking spend all this money in a wall. It's insane. You I know, and she's, she's pro-wall, so she's I love her. Wall? She's yeah. a pro-wall. And, and she's a pro-Trump, too? She, she, wore, yeah. she wore a wall dress last year. And she's black? She's a pro-life. She she's black, she's a pro -life. Yes. She's, You can't be she's black and pro-Trump. Like, you got to pick pro -life, one She's a pro-life, <laughs> pro-wall, and pro-Trump. And pro-idiot. Uh, That's right. <laughs> well... I mean, when I say she's pro, she's amazing. So uh, she's a sweetheart. Well, I, I will tell you, if you met her, she would, you would love her in five yeah. minutes. She's, I'm, she's a, a terrific I'm not, person. I'm not saying I wouldn't love her, but you can't be pro Trump and pro like, and and it just to me. And then she rolls a dress in peach. Uh, it just to me, you're like a pro life. And but what what if? Life. Well, you know, whatever she's doing, she's doing it right. She's selling lots of. Yeah, barbed um, wire on her head and. Uh, Build She's getting lots of following, selling lots of but, but, uh, but her building products and merchandising. Yeah. So, but building the wall does nothing. Building the well, wall. Well, they have. They, they, I mean, there's there's walls in place. They haven't built anything, and, right. and, and, and honestly, they uh, they're not going to. So, no. uh, uh, and you know, if they if uh, if they reinforce uh, some parts of the wall, fine. Uh, you know, there, there's a border that's there, and it's. Yeah. But is it going to be like a, a a big wall across the entire United States? No. That was just rhetoric, and uh, Trump used it to get elected. Is, now, is, is she like a like a staunch Christian person too? Um, I, I, I'll tell you. After, I'll tell She's you. After kind of all the, she was a Scientologist. I, 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 anyway, I, I, let's, get, let's, let's, get let's get let's get back to you. Let's get back to you. Yeah. Let's get back to you now. It's about me. It's now tell us now. Now the first book, mm -hmm. the Jill Love Revolution, which you can still get on Amazon. On Amazon. Sixty. It's a big. It's a it's a fifty dollar book, but it's worth it because 69. it's a big. And I knew it was fifty for you. Don't say that. Oh wait a second, sixty nine on people. Amazon. Sixty nine dollars on Amazon. Fifty nine, yeah. oh, but it's worth it. They it's actually a big, take a twenty percent, so yeah. you know. It's a big book, of all the all of all the art. So what's going to be on this new book that you're doing? So the new book is more like um, personal, intimate. You know, my relationship with homelessness. You know, I actually went down in. Um, downtown LA as a homeless for a week. And oh, that's I documented right. It, so I talk about that, you know, it was an you amazing were homeless experience. For a week? Yeah, like on purpose. Yeah, yeah. To it was a social experiment. So I only had like a shopping cart and sleeping bag, and you know, just, just and you were there by yourself to record everything. Yeah. So, but I made it through. I made it through. I found places to sleep. I found a roof. But he? I saw stuff like I only saw in zombie movies. Such you as? You know, at night. Like, tell me, tell me, what, what did you see? You know, saw? like a lady coming um, down the street the opposite direction of me, and she was like possessed by, by the devil. You know, and I saw her face, her eyes were like out of it. You know, and just it was Not really scary. It was like, oh, oh my God, like at night. You know, nobody yeah. else was on the street, just me and her. Yeah, she I was could coming only be the opposite direction of pushing a shopping cart. And it was like my reflection. Like, it was kind of, um, you know, I get chills when I talk about it because it was like so impactful. Mm -hmm. so that was the sketchiest thing that happened? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I had that, like, a homeless guy in a wheelchair offering me, like, um, $20 for a blowjob, mm. you know? So, yeah. But $20 is, like, $200 for somebody else, maybe. Right. So yeah, $20 I mean, for somebody Why is he homeless check? offering money for a blowjob? <laughs> Well, you know, he's in a wheelchair, Pookie. He's in a wheelchair. So I actually felt sorry for him. That's I give him a yeah. hug. I give him a kiss on the cheek, and I say, this is free. <laughs> Go on. I love you. <laughs> okay, how much wait, for wait, so $10 wait. for the yeah. hand job? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hand job. How about a hand job? I just... A kiss on the cheek and a hug is free. <laughs> just a hand. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I'm how much for reach around? Know, I, felt, I actually felt compassion. He wanted love. Yes, he no, wanted I understand. attention. He wanted yeah, compassion. he wanted some attention. But you know, it's now, like what did you wear? They use. Um, you weren't dressed like this. No, like, all I nice had like an overall and I had like, mm, you know, no makeup on, which for me was a big deal. So I was just, I was feeling naked and I was feeling yeah. alone, vulnerable, no money, no cell phone, no nothing. Well, you must have. You didn't have any money, like a dollar, two dollars. No, I was outside Whole Foods because I like to eat organic, (laughs) vegan food. So, okay, I was outside. I'm done. I was actually outside um, downtown Whole Foods. Can you give me? Is is this organic? No, (laughs) there's a Whole Foods downtown. (laughs) Good, good. This is not organic. I don't need it. This is not. Uh, yes. uh, 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 I will do yeah. anything for organic food. <laughs> See, now he's doing your work. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I am homeless. Mm-hmm. Can you give me some money so I can get some <laughs> organic food? Yes, I need some. <laughs> I need organic. I need some organic dates, please. Can you give me some money, please? I got. A, I just bought a hamburger from the uh, McDonald's. No. Yeah, no, it no, no McDonald's. Organic. No, you would never eat that. Do you? Eat, you don't eat a Maga- McDonald's. Have you ever had McDonald's? You have very nice. It's a traumatic I experience. I, back in the days, I was young. I was clueless. I was dumb. So, you know, I thought it was the greatest thing. But I was 15. Well, what you other? Know, one what day other I woke f- up and I thought, oh, this it's is dignity. shit. It's yeah. like shit. It's like not food. If it doesn't decompose, it's not food. But have you had McDonald's fries? <coughs> in and out fries. In and out fries. No. In and out fries oh, are the fucking best. Huh? No, no, we're having a fry today. McDonald's, this is crazy. McDonald's had plastic, <laughs> made of plastic. I will eat that plastic every day. Did you try in and out? Yes. Fries? Yes. I love And you said like. I, they don't, no one touches McDonald's fries. No one. No, they're fried in beef fat, so you, ha- you have to understand. It's, it's like, it is, it's mm. like. McDonald's fries, then Chick Fil A, then In and Out. Wow! I know that. You know I haven't gone so to Chick Fil A, not to McDonald's. Oh okay. So get I some don't know how they get some McDonald's fries. I mean, I, I know they they, don't, they cook it in nor, non-organic grease. They actually put non-organic mm. on their. They've admitted it's beef fat and other uh, <laughs> right. stuff. That's why that's why it tastes so good. Uh, and of course, you know Chick Fil A. Uh, you know we gotta. There's people still processing them, so yeah. we can't go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm actually I'm I'm actually beyond burger girl, beyond me, yeah. beyond sausage. I'm That's great. Like every day, I have one beyond of those. sausage. Have you tried them? Yeah, a vegan vegan uh, burgers and sausage. Beyond yeah. burger. Beyond burgers. So I was talking to my mom today. She she was tasty. she was uh, cooking a Did beyond beyond burger. Mm-mm. Like the Impossible Burger, right. the Beyond Burger. It's really beyond. so tasty. W- w- what is Beyond tell. Burger? It's vegan. I'm, I mean, Made I know it's vegan, but why would they name it protein. Beyond? It's Beyond Meat. Yeah. It's not, it's, it tastes like meat, but it's not meat. Oh. Like the Impossible Burger is like, okay, it tastes like meat, but it's not meat. But that's the thing. Like it's If impossible. it's Beyond, I'm thinking it's really high in protein. Like this is extra protein. It's actually <laughs> more protein than regular meat. Oh, okay. And yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio owns part of the company, so there oh. you go. Oh, cool. But to save the planet. So what else happened to you when you were homeless? And begging for Beyond Burgers at Home? You know, actually, we <laughs> talk about that in the last show. Okay. Remember? All right. Well, then, last well, then year, I will... Last uh, decade. I, I d- then forget. What else can no, we no, talk no, about? So the, the name changed to Davida Sal. We never even got into that. So actually, we live in the culture of death, right? Yes. Especially in the United States, it's all death, you know? That's how I see it. So I want to bring life. I want to bring beauty, life. Yeah. So David Sal, mm-hmm. Sal, Salaberg is my last name. So yes. I'm playing with um, word 
everything. So it's the la sal de la vida. So I bring life everywhere I go. I just, life. you know, life. Okay. Because we just focus on that all the time. Like, you know, you have to hide to make love in behind doors. You know, it's kind of making love and sex is like, <gasps> you know, but death, which you, we see dead we bodies do? on the huh? streets. We, we don't have to hide behind doors to have sex. Like, well, go and have sex on the streets. But it's, it's kind okay. of fun. Come on, come on, Davina, let's go. It's, it's okay. We can have you ever had sex outside? On the beach, maybe. Sex outside, like sex in the car, is great. Like I still like having sex in the car. I know that's wrong, but that's what not kind of car outside. Is uh, <laughs> you still have to hide. It, it's I have a, a Sentra, but it's a tight squeeze. It's a tight squeeze, but like it's still <laughs> kind of like sex in the car. Like uh, it gets me going. Like just really, the, yes. Yeah. Like that's like something. That's well, actually, I, my friend um, Danielle Watts. She was in the the Django and Chain. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she had sex in a car, and she was all over TMZ and everything. Oh yeah, and you gotta be careful. Neighbor called the cops on her because she was having sex in the car with her boyfriend, and she was in the Django and Chain. Yes. And mm -hmm. Chain. Right. So that ended her career. Just really having sex in the car? So, yeah. I Somebody called the cops on them. So be well, careful. You're right. Like I, I, I've had sex in a park. I like having sex. I've had sex while driving. Sex is. I this is this while your driving. Uh -huh. That's a confession. That. Uh, but this was a long ago. It's. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're talking Doesn't roadhead count. or actual sex while you're driving? Actual sex. So she was straddling you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's like I like having sex outside. You do. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's got a fetish. Yeah. I mean, it, I, I think it's that. That that is adrenaline I'm getting, rush. That, yes, I'm getting away with yeah. it. I'm right. supposed to be not supposed to be having sex outside, but I like it. It's such a you, rush. You, you like the you like the wind. Uh, I don't care about the catching, wind. It's just the, you. Or you like doing it in the rain. Is that? Uh, I've done it in the rain. Yeah. Uh, I've done it on top of the hood. Right. Uh, I've done it. Uh, um, one time I did it. I was at uh, at the time she was. Uh, uh, one of my one girl I was dating, I did it at her job. We did it at her job. Oh yeah, no, I've done that. <laughs> Although he's having a lot more sex than I am, right. but you know, I've done that. <laughs> I uh, well, we, I, I I it was weird because we had a I um we worked at a place and they were they they just built it like uh -huh. it was a new uh, it was a new startup. Right. So they had like this other building that was vacant. Oh, so we did that. Yeah, and then, and then we re realized that there were cameras, but it didn't, oh, nothing happened. Yeah, like. I don't know. I just it's just what's what's the wildest place you've had sex? I haven't heard anything that wild yet. The wildest place? When I was a teenager. Yeah. Uh we had I had sex uh her mom walked in on us. <coughs> oh, okay. Like her we were at her house and her mom actually stepped over us while we were having sex. Hmm. That was That's weird. Yeah. That was weird. She didn't say anything. She just like she. I think she was sleepwalking. Interesting. And, and how would you know? Because you were having sex. You weren't right. paying that, we that much attention. Yeah, we didn't pay, pay attention. And then we like. Then also. Um, what else? I want to share my story. Okay. You know, I went back home in 2012 <laughs> after my mom passed away. If it's not about her, it's just so it I used to. I yet. used to. St I used to live with my dad. You know. Yeah. I had a challenging relationship growing up. Right. So after my mom passed away, I was taking care of him. Mm. He was, you know, he was 76. Yeah, you were talking I was I, born I, I, when I, they were kind of older than the rest. So, you know, um, my dad was going to have lunch in a bar down the street every day, mm -hmm. right? So that day he said, yeah, I'm going to be gone for two hours. You know, you want to come? He said, no, no, I don't like anything mm, that you eat, you know, because he eats all kinds of food and seafood and shellfish. And McDonald's like, fries. Yeah. Right. No, like every day, like she knew she was going to die at any time. So right, she right. wanted to celebrate life with yeah. a big feast every time with right. uh, pig's feet and in Spain they eat lots of pork and yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, it's disgusting. So I just couldn't be there. Yeah. So I said, Dad, I'm going to stay home. I'll be fine. I'm going to... Make something to eat, you know, mm -hmm. you go, I'll see you in two hours. Okay, so he left. I called my boyfriend, my Moroccan boyfriend, that I always have that. Every time I go back to my home.
hometown in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. He's always there waiting for me to come back. That's always a Moroccan. And he's right? a younger one, you know, because I'm a cougar. All right. So I called him. He, he came over. And I was in my little bedroom where I grew up. And, um, That's you know, exciting. That was really exciting. I always had that fantasy just to have somebody in my bed, you know, making love. That was my first time in my life. So I thought, oh, my God, this is so exciting. And I had been up town in two hours. Right. So I was just right there, you know, with right. him on top of me. We were just having the climax. And then my dad opens the door. He looks at us with his his face like Jack Torrance in The Shining, you know, like his face like speaking in, you know, through right. that the open tour. Mm -hmm. He looked at us. We looked at him. We didn't say anything. <laughs> Dead silence. He left. And we kept going. No. Yeah, we kept going. And that was the best sex ever. The best orgasm ever. Just Cause, having that. Because it, it was a chance of death. Yeah. Yeah, that's so. I really relate to what you Either were saying. Either that or it's a Freudian thing. I don't right. know. It's an addiction. It's, a, like, it's an adrenaline rush. Like, I yeah. like. I kind of like. like. I don't know why. I just like sex. People walking in on you. The possible. Right. I don't like them walking in on me. Because because I'll, I'll sit right outside the door next time. Yeah. Both yeah. of you guys. Next time you're having, next time you're fucking, I'll stand outside the door and I'll walk in on both of you just so <laughs> you can come really hard. <laughs> like, <laughs> you want me to? I'll do it. So he didn't speak to me <laughs> in three three days. Right. My dad, you know, he was really traumatized to see me. Yes. Doing that, you know. Yeah. Because uh, I, for I, him, I, I was a little girl right. doing and those uh, things like, with a Moroccan. Was a Moroccan Which was worse, that you were doing it, or is that he was, the person was Moroccan? I wasn't sure. We didn't get into that detail, but I think it was both. Yeah. Well, if you really want to feel all the danger while having sex, hire someone to just kind of take, like, pow, pow, like three shots over your head in the ceiling while you're having sex. That's a rush. You had that experience? No, I've never had that. <laughs> but that's your fantasy. That's your fantasy. No, that's not. No? Actually, not a fantasy. When you say shots, you mean gunshots? Like gunshots. Or? Like, oh, okay. take a little pow, pow. Like right before the climax, and just right, like because then you're like, Oh my gosh, what was it's that? It's tense up, it's like eagles, yeah. and yeah, yeah. yeah, you're giving ideas to all these. How many people are listening to it? A lot. Uh, so well, there's uh, we we uh, generally, and yeah, so I, I hopefully not Will's 13 year old daughter, but yeah. uh, yeah, well, I mean, we got uh, usually 20 30,000 on Renegade Radio, so a lot of people on YouTube, a lot of people on uh, all social media, so right. probably. Yeah, it, all over the world. When you're on, you get a lot of people from Spain listen. So, yeah, probably uh, all, all said and done, at least 50,000 people will be listening to this. Wow. So, uh, and... Uh, you're growing like the coronavirus. Like, like the coronavirus, time, like yes. Every show you, is just really like, another she, 10,000. She's so into the virus. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 she's, she's so into... She's like, I, I, there's death everywhere, and that's all she's talking about is death. But I know. Right. <laughs> I bring life. I, bring I saw your acting in the at the Hollywood Fringe Festival last year. I thought it was wonderful. You're doing that. You're Thank acting you. now. Now you're back in L.A. You're going to do some more acting? I'm actually going to do a one-woman show. I can't wait to see it. And it's called Under the Freeway. Under guess, the Freeway. Guess who I'm going to play? Yourself? The Freeway? A homeless lady. Ah. Living in a tent under the freeway. And so this will be a tie-in with the books? No, just me. Okay. <laughs> the one you know, I, it's I'm not, to nothing this. to do with the book. Okay. But we were trying yeah. to help yourselves with the book. Yeah. So, so you wrote, did you write this or somebody else wrote it? It's all me. I mean, I don't have anybody doing my stuff. Okay. Do you write your jokes? Do I write my jokes? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody else will take credit for it. See? Same. Anyway, right. anyway, where does the time go? It's been over an hour. We're all, we're kind of into overtime. Oh. It goes by so fast. When it's wow. a good show, when it's good chemistry, mm -hmm. it it's good. always fast. Uh, Willis, uh, we got to know you a lot better <laughs> and what you're into. And ladies, uh, if you want to have sex in a public place or, uh, you know, where somebody can walk in, uh, Willis is your man. Tell everybody how they can get a hold of you, upcoming shows, what uh -huh. you're doing. I didn't even get into, you did a movie. Oh, Cat Williams, before I go. Uh -huh. Cat Williams. You did the movie Cat Williams, Internet Dating. Yes. How far, it, it, and I love Cat Williams. I think Cat Williams is great. I yeah. think he's one of the best comics ever. Right. How fucking nuts is that guy? Is he, I mean, is, I see, I see the great performer, uh -huh. and then when he's not on stage, I see a fucking mess. What's going on? It, it, it's a mess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is a mess. It, it, he has a lot of there's a lot of demons 
I, I feel like I feel like both drugs. Things. Um, that and other demons. Like, yeah. there's there's a. I, I don't know if it's bipolar. I, you know what I mean? I don't. I, I can't diagnose him. But there's other issues. But was it cool with you? We were cool up to a point. Oh and, really? Yeah. And then we. we well, kinda, what was that point? We kind of fell out. It what? was. It was. It was. Uh, it, it was. Oh, it's funny. Is that? Um, uh, he likes someone. That person likes me. Ah. And so she, yeah. she wanted me. He wanted her. And I didn't know either way. Yeah. I was like, oh. That'll do it, yeah. That's why. And you know what? Yeah. But and, and, I, and, I, and we were really good friends. And I, 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 I used to consider him a really good friend. And I, I still care about and him. And a mentor. I, yeah. I really care about him. And I hope, I, I really do want the best for him. I hope he gets his life together because yeah. uh, he's, he's a good person. No, I do too. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 don't know, I don't know the guy, but I mean, he's one of my favorite comics. Yeah. And uh, I just think uh, he does something that... Uh, he brings an energy and a, uh, to, to comedy that nobody else brings. No, he does. It, it, but he, he, he also does. brings that when he's getting beat up by a fifteen-year-old. But uh, right, like I've never been beat up by a fifteen-year-old in my life, even or, when I was fifteen. Or when he starts yelling at target managers and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, so so I was gonna tell you, you can catch me. Uh, my Instagram is uh, Willis Turner Comedy. Right. Uh, and I'm on Twitter, which is which is funny. It's Willis Turner and the number one. Will's turn, Turner, yeah, one, number one. Um, All right, and uh, Facebook. Um, I'm always. I, I have a show in uh, Santa Monica this weekend. This okay. coming weekend, Sunday after Super Bowl, right okay, after Super Bowl. Cool. If you're in uh, Santa Monica, I'll be at the West Side Theater. Okay, yeah, I, I love that place too. Yeah. Uh, are you gonna be uh, Are you gonna be going on the road anytime soon? Are you gonna be in New York or Seattle? Or? Um, I'm actually staying in town. I'm I'm working. I'm gonna be. I'm trying. I'm not going. I'm working on, on my act to uh, take to the Edinburgh Fringe. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's great. I'm gonna do the Fringe. I've never done Fringe. I done Fringe two years ago, and I've just never went just as a comic. This I was in a play. Wow. And now I'm doing it, just comedy. Wow. I love. The Fringe. That's a bit, the biggest thing. Uh, you were at the Hollywood Fringe Festival. And, uh, oh, you were at the... Well, see, he was at the Edinburgh f- uh, Fringe Festival, which is the oh, biggest. Oh, yeah. so that's the biggest in the United States. Like in the world. In the world. Yeah. It was fun. Wow. It was fun. So, so Davida, the rest of the time is yours. Tell everybody what you got going mm-hmm. on and how people get, in, get a hold of you. So you can go to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Davida Sal, D A V. A D A, Davida. D A V I D A. Davida. Yes. D A V A. D A V I. I sorry. <laughs> D A. Okay. I smoked a little um, before some, you know, ah. and it's kind of late. I've been working on the cells. You smoke S I L. Marijuana. <gasps> yeah, oh cannabis. Well, it's we'll have to we'll have to put a, so, a bookmark in that. But I want to say I I want to stop talking about myself because I'm nobody. Since so when? Just whatever yeah. you know. But I just wanna compliment on how look how good you look today. Oh. I mean, it's amazing. Oh, no, nah, I'm blushing. Seriously, you look great. Oh, Since great. last time I saw you, how long? Oh, how wow. long you, you said that Since when Christmas. you saw me last time at the party. I always like, oh say God, that, but every good. time you look better and better. I look better and better and better. And better. Yeah. So yeah, well maybe one of these days your your dad can walk in on me, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Goth Comedian on all social media. You guys, great energy in the room, terrific show. Everybody have a wonderfully creepy week. Bye. 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 Bye.